Hey guys, uh, welcome to part 7 of this tutorial series uh, where we create an HDA uh, straight from Houdini and import that into, uh, into Unreal uh, using Blender as an intermediary software. So as I was explaining in the last part, uh, we, uh, we created this, uh, this scene in, uh, inside Unreal. Uh, so before jumping uh, into Houdini, uh, I will just show you quickly what I mean by uh, the, uh, the simple PCG graph I created. So let's delete this uh, this mesh from here to the Unreal scene. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, now I have a folder here called uh, called PCG, and I temporarily made a PCG graph. So how you make a PCG graph is like uh, first of all you need to uh, enable it in the plugins. And once this this plugins window uh, launches, uh, just type in procedural content generation framework. So you need to have have these three uh, checked down. So once you check uh, check check uh, check this, it will ask to restart the editor. So just re restart the editor, and it will be activated. So once you have the PCG plugin activated, uh, go into any of this uh, asset browser panes and just right click. And go to create P, uh, PCG PCG graph. So this is a graph I created similarly. So if you open this graph, double click, and here here you can see that uh, I I have a really simple um, graph. So for now I'll just turn off this uh, static mesh spawner. So turning off disable is uh, is is click E on the keyboard. So I can disable it. Uh, so how do you see the PCG? So if you want a PCG, if you want to see the PCG uh, in the editor, you need to drag and drop it into the world. So let me just drag and drop it here. So if you want to see it, so again, as you see, 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 see that there's a bounding box uh, right here. So that, so, so that's a PCG. So the, so this is the area that will be covered by the PCG tool. So whatever you, uh, whatever you, uh, you spawn inside the PCG graph will be spawned in this particular area so I'm going into the PCG tool I mean PCG graph right now and I have uh, so I have made a very simple uh, graph here so first of all uh, I connected this landscape node from input into surface sampler so if you want to see the uh, debug mode just select the node and press D on a keyboard so I can see that it is uh, it is it is, it is spawning uh, these uh, the, uh, these boxes like white to black and gray in between so uh, different levels of uh, I mean different values of uh, white and black gray scale um, so just turn it off turning it off press again D then I have some some transform points so transform is like a simple offset so to get some ran randomness to it so you see that it is just getting random like rotation the scale and the uh, slide position okay so after that there's a den density filter so what does this does it this is it filter filters out uh, some of the colors so right now I have I have a value that that goes from 0 to uh, to 0 0.25 so upper bound is 0 0.25 lower bound is 0 so I can actually filter out the uh, the number of assets that's that's being uh, spawned so this is a this is a way to reduce the intensity. Uh, there are there are many other ways to do it, but here since we are doing only a very simple scene, uh, I'm using a very simple density filter. So after this, um, I'm I'm spawning the 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 grass using a static mesh spawner. I'm pressing E on the keyboard to bring it back. So that is where our our grass is getting spawned. There's not there's not nothing fancy in this. Uh, it is just a very a very simple PCG. So I'll press G on the keyboard just to hide this bounding box so that it'll be clean. Okay. So I'll just uh, go into play mode and see the height of the grass. So right now the grass is like about about the character's uh, hip height. Um, so this is somewhat similar to the uh, to, to the height they used in uh, Ghost of Ghost of Tsushima. So I'm just going with the hip uh, size grass. Okay, so that is the so that so that's the PCG, and and we use uh, this 
this graph from from here to see uh, our our graphs. Now I'll just spawn this a little bit uh, bigger. Uh, so I'll just increase the scale, go into details, and increase the scale to maybe uh, around 35. So it is slightly scaled up. So that should be okay because if it is if it is too much, it is my computer may not be able to handle it uh, because it is just is, is uh, that there's a lot of there's a lot of tree that's, that's being spawned at the same time. So I just save it. Now we will jump into uh, into Houdini and just make the tweaks. Okay. Now in uh, in Houdini, uh, this is where we left off uh, last uh, last week. So we have an HDA right here. You can see see all the controls here. It is same way we left last week, uh, and this is the uh, graph HDA graph. So I so I jump into uh, into the graph, and we see that we worked on uh, the uh, the creating this uh, this grass uh, the this procedural grass inside Houdini. Uh, now 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 we will learn how to bring this into bring the custom geometry uh, into the uh, the HDA. Okay. So this is the custom geometry section uh, we, uh, which we did last time. Uh, so we made a custom flower using all the controls here. Uh, now, uh, now how do we bring the bring back the HTA uh, con controls? Select this um, node, go into assets, edit, then go to edit the HTA HTA interface. So this is the parameters. Okay, just make it slightly smaller. Now what we do is we turn turn this off temporarily and go into the uh, grass HDA graph and we start populating this. So this is the grass plates say section. I just minimize this and add one more folder here. Let's call it uh, custom flower. You can name it like anything you want. It doesn't matter. And I'll change this uh, tabs into a simple. So, so I can have everything under one, one page. Or um, when I'm thinking a thing like thing again, I think we'll keep it as a, a separate tab, or just to make things well organized. Okay. So it's in the tab, apply. Now under this, what are the controls I need? So first of all, we make another folder. You can call it um, import. So you can have geometry import or file import or whatever. So I'm just using import here. Now under the, uh, so click on this custom geo node and drag and uh, drag out this geometry file here and call it uh, custom geo or something. Apply it. Uh, now uh, before doing that, I need to uh, make sure that the, the final export OBJ includes the flower as well. So drag, drag from this merge node into the material. That's all you need to do. So yeah, so everything else is uh, all 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 prepared. So it's just a matter of dragging and dropping it here. Okay. Now we now and now now we need to add one more button here. So that is called reload dom reload geometry. Like what if we what if you made some changes to it? You can just uh, do this button, click on this button, and it will just reload it. It is uh, it is very simple. Now. After this, I need a few uh, few controls. Okay, so I'm going to create another folder. You can name it uh, like uh, spawn controls. Okay, under spawn controls, I need uh, two things. One is the spawn radius. You can call it like uh, spawn radius, and I can just make it like uh, for now. I'll 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 keep it at point one to maybe one. Let's see how how big the how big one is. Then we can change it later. Okay. Then what I'll do is uh, I'll use this uh, scatter. Scatter is the is, is again I have a sto total force total count. So that can be used to control the number of uh, grass. I mean number of flowers that will be spawned. Um, number of flowers okay so so under number of flowers i'll do one thing so range is minimum is one max i can say uh, maybe five flowers 
is a max. I don't want a thousand flowers in 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 one band, uh, one bunch. Uh, that'll be too much. So we have ranged from uh, one to uh, five. That is good. Uh, then we need vertex colors. So uh, vertex colors, we will come come to it once we uh, figure this out. Okay, once we export this, then export is the same. Uh, export OBJ. Uh, the, this one has to be uh, under a a a a common folder. So we just bring it out from from here. So OBJ export. We'll just uh, drag and drop into the root. So so the so the this will become a folder on its own. Okay. Uh, this is why I said we'll have everything in uh, in 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 one group, like not in a separate page. So apply it, accept, go to uh, OBJ, then click on this, save asset, save uh, save the HDA. Now go into this and click click, click on spawn. Okay, so 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 now we have this uh, this weird looking box shape. So where is it coming from? It's coming from this uh, this this temporary. Uh, so it created a temp temp uh, geometry where we have to import the custom mesh. Okay, so we have an import a custom mesh custom flower folder. I mean custom flower se 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 section. Select this button and. And this is the uh, flower mesh we made. Okay, let's see labs. Let me turn off my. Kind of it's still labs we have. Um, let me check the. Oh, sorry, it's wrong. The location. So I'm going to continue. Import the flower. So there you go. So I got the flower already imported. Okay. Uh, now the problem is that. Uh, so how will we control this? So there is one way to do it. Like now it is like overlapping this grass blade slightly. So I don't want to do that. So the so the way so, so, so the way you can do is that you increase the number of flowers. Maybe I'll make it uh, like three, and just uh, increase the spawn radius. Adjust the spawn radius. So that is the way you can just uh, just uh, adjust it to see if there's any uh, any any overlap. There is still uh, a slight overlap. I just uh, increase it slightly. So make I make like I can make some variations. So and now it is good. Now it looks like uh, all the all the flowers are properly arranged. Now we have a random height automatically uh, showing up. Uh, so we will fix it soon. Okay. So under this, select, select the option. When you select this uh, grass, uh, sorry, grass HDA, and click on uh, save to disk. Okay. So it will be saved as an OBJ. So let me select select again. Because that selection is gone, because I did something in between <coughs> while testing it. And Blender, uh, we are going to select it. Uh, Grass HDA Blender import, accept, save to disk. Okay. So in Blender, we are going to import it. A new a new scene. So here I just hide everything. Um, file import. OBJ and we are going to this one for here. So right now we have the uh, the whole grass with uh, with uh, with everything in it. So let's see if the the vertex color was uh, I was getting imported. Okay. So go into color attributes. I have I have I have a vertex color. Now when I go into vertex paint mode, so only the flowers are getting the vertex color. So why is that? Because uh, because the flowers are getting getting random vertex colors. So the the issue is that uh, we made uh, the the uh, the grass vertex colors into uh, into parameters. Okay, uh, but for some reason I did some changes. Sorry about that. Because here, if you see, if you look at the vertex colors, I'll, I'll just um, just switch, switch switch it back to geometry color. You can, if you see, if you will see, uh, only the grass, uh, only the flowers, the custom flowers have uh, have got the uh, color, color, random color variation, uh, but the grass does not. So, so everything here, uh, I need to uh, keep it keep uh, keep zero, except green, right? So for the green, I'm going to keep minimum value as uh, 0.1, and max as one. So now it should work, okay? Now again, save save to disk. Now, if we re-import this into Blender, only the only thing is that we need to re-import it. 
okay uh, and just uh, import obj now now imported now if we go and check the vertex color now, now we have the perfect vertex colors for this asset okay now we will just do an export here from from here to uh, to unreal uh, let me go into object mode or export export as fbx now Okay, for export, so I just uh, uh, click on select objects and click on exp export FBX. Now in Unreal, okay, so I'm just going to re-import this. So go, we're going to Content Browser, Meshes, just right click and just say re-import. Now we have a beautiful scene with, you know, uh, with, with grass and, and flowers all in, uh, all in one, one big scene, okay. So everything, everything works like works beautifully. So the grass has uh, the the grass have have got this kind of nice uh, you know uh, scale variation. So we still have to f set it up because now it is coming coming straight coming from the uh, uh, from the graph. So we haven't set up the height height variation inside uh, the SDA, but still it looks nice. Um, so. Uh, let me know what do you guys think about this in the uh, in the uh, in the comment section below so i get an idea about like you know can be improved in the uh, in, 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 in the next phase okay now let's go into the play mode so we can, we can see that the the grass is like looking really nice when you have the character walking through it and if you have a like, like if you have a terrain material that'll make it uh, extra better because right now in my now in it is just gray because I, I haven't focused on the terrain materials yet uh, so maybe in a future to, uh, tutorial we will learn about terrain material okay excuse me now the next thing we need to do is so we have the grass we have the uh, yeah wait so so we need to bring in the uh, vertex color variation into it so let's go into HDA assets are in uh, did properties so inside the um, you know inside this um, custom flower folder we'll create another folder called so this can be a little bit outside here move this phone control here okay uh, why is it going in okay the custom flower it's good now now we need to add one more folder called um, we'll keep it in between import and uh, no uh, import after spawn and all is good so a folder name we will name it as uh, vertex colors or we can just even like even call it random vertex colors so anything is good so in here i need to use uh, this one same same thing we did for the uh, grass blades that we are going to do, do a separate vertex colors just for the flower okay so that we'll get better control on on the randomness i act, actually it doesn't matter but uh, but we can have a a separate random color so what i'm thinking now is why don't we get uh, get random vertex colors for everything at once no 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 no, no it's fine because, uh, because the flower is a like, like uh, uh, the flowering needs a separate treatment because we are importing the mesh as as um, as a as a combined object so it is not one for one uh, like it is it's not get like the grass blade because grass blade is uh, just one mesh uh, each grass blade but the flower flower is like not one one mesh like it has got separate elements so it could be a problem if we merge both the vertex colors into into one so we'll have separate vertex colors uh, for the flowers to make it much more easier uh, to manage okay so on the vertex colors, um, right now here it is set as, as point, 0 0.1 to 1. So I will set everything back to 1 for now because when I'm randomizing it, I need to make sure that it's all random here. Okay. 
Now here uh, we will set the minimum value, maximum value uh, to the direct vertex colors. Okay, minimum value, max value. You don't have to change anything. It can be just the same. And options, uh, just uh, drag the global seed. I'll just keep it ten for now. Drag it into uh, the vertex colors. Okay, and apply. So we have so 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 we have completed uh, all the you know vertex colors and uh, custom mesh mesh import options for the HDA. Now we'll go back to the HDA uh, and see see how it looks. So assets uh, save asset save. Okay. So don't don't forget to do do that because that will make it look uh, you know better. Okay. Select this asset. Now if you look the the uh, the flowers are like lost their vertex colors. That is that's because we just set it set, set everything at one. Okay. Now custom flower, we have import, spawn controls, vertex colors. So the these are the two uh, two extra conditions we just added. I mean extra parameters we just added. Okay. And if you look at this object export, it is the last one. And it is as a it is appearing as a separate uh, section here. So this is how how it should be done. So for the Flowers uh, for the red, I'm keeping 0, 0, blue, I'm keeping 0, 0, and for green, I'm going to give, give it as 0 0.1 and 1. Also, we have a ra random seed, so I adjust it slightly. So that is good now, that is perfect. Okay, now just uh, click on save to disk. Now go into Blender. So, as I was, as I was, uh, Explaining in the last class, like we need to uh, make sure that we bring everything through Blender. Okay. For import, then go to Vertex Paint. What? Sorry, this is Weight Paint. <laughs> so Vertex Paint. So this is perfect. I was like, for one moment, I was like, what? I did not give blue. It was it was green, but now now it's showing as blue. Okay. So everything is good. Um. Now we can just uh, we can export this into uh, into Unreal. You won't you won't see any di difference because we haven't done any much work on uh, on this uh, to change anything. So import the mesh, re-import. Is it FPX? So, so there is not much difference, but but as you can see that we have uh, the the random vertex colors and everything applied properly. Okay. I, th I think the grass blades are a little bit thick uh, in this version. So we just uh, we just make it a little bit slightly thinner. So in uh, HDA, uh, I, I just turn off the geometry color, and turn on te te textures, just slightly thicker. Not not this one. Generous scale, bend amount. Um, uh, I think I don't I don't have that uh, grass uh, thick th thickness controls yet. Okay, so we need something to uh, to adjust the uh, the grass thickness. So now you know like grass is like this this thick. So yeah, now we'll just see how we can add this kind of uh, thickness control uh, on the on the flowers. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, wait, uh, I need to open this editor. And let's go into uh, grass. So here is the uh, main main grass blade. Okay, don't do anything anything before the uh, unwrap. As I, was, as I was explaining before, okay, don't change anything uh, before unwrap because if you do that, it can be problematic. So we have a bend. Uh, so what we so what we need here is a is a scale control. So I, so I, so I just close this for now. Or maybe keep it somewhere here. Okay, so what we need is a scale control. Uh, now let me do something. I just hide this for now, uh, and I just bypass this. Uh, just uh, bypassing is like click on this by bypass, so that I won't see that here. And I think the geometry uh, is good. Okay. Now what we'll do is, so I just want to adjust the thickness, right? So, um, so after this, uh, so after the bend control, what we can do it before the bend control, okay? 
So add one node here that is uh, transform. So just add a transform node. Okay, and what we need to control is the uh, is it thickness. Hmm. So scale x y z. So let's let's try x. So x is the one one we need. See the whole grass uh, thickness. So only for x we need to um, apply this con control. Okay. So y and z, I don't want to change. So right click on this, and and you can say log parameter. Same thing for this log parameter. And uh, and then open the um, HDA. Oh, sorry, we have it here. I totally forgot about it. Okay, and uh, for this, I just uh, name it as scale control. Okay, and uh, spawn controls bend material vertex colors. So under spawn con controls, I can actually drag this in scale spawn controls scale. Grass blade thickness. Okay, I'm going to apply it. Accept it. Now go back to uh, our asset save save asset okay now go into this uh, a, a, hda uh, okay so let's let's turn it on first sorry turn it on okay now now um, now we don't have the flowers here yet oh i don't know why it's not showing up okay let me see yeah it is correct oh because because i bypassed it Wait, on DJ. I said save. Okay, now we have flowers. Okay, so select this, and under this uh, we have a blade th thickness uh, value. Okay, so 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 even if I change change the uh, y, uh, let's uh, let's try 0. 0.5. Oh, it is still changing. Okay, uh, because of, because the because the uh, lock value did not work. Okay, whatever. So we just only change we only change this uh, x value. So here, uh, middle mouse and just drag it. You can control the, uh, the the thickness for the grass blade. So now now it looks good. Now hit uh, hit save again. Save to disk and in Blender do the same thing. Reimport. Uh, OBJ and from here export FPX done unreal we just try reimporting it now now yeah now if you look the uh, the grass blades look look uh, look more natural right what do you guys think uh, i think the grass blades are look look, look good now yeah this actually th this is something something you need to keep keep working on because uh, till you find the perfect you know the that that perfect size uh, this, this is something you need to keep tweaking. So, uh, so, so I won't be tweaking it m further for this uh, tutorial. So let's 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 get going. Okay. Now uh, in this HDA, uh, what I'm missing is uh, when I um, so what if I don't need flowers? What if I need only only the the grass? Okay. Uh, there is there is like there's one way to do it. Uh, it's called called a switch 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 node okay so we have to switch between uh, just grass blades and grass blades with flowers so uh, let's go back into jump into this uh, our our graph hit okay, let's keep it here now jump back in now there is a, some something called uh, called a switch as I spring here, so just right click and type. Oh wait, switch, switch. Okay, so a switch lo looks like this. So we have, uh, we have an a, a, a big input, um, input uh, node here. So we can connect any number of uh, inputs into it, and all of them will be listed here. Okay, so this is just grass plates. Okay. And this is 
grass blades and um, I mean grass blades merged with uh, flower. So this is um, blades flower. This is just blades. Okay, just to make it simple. Now drag this into the into this uh, switch first. Okay, and drag the second one next. Now if you click on the switch, you will see that the, the there's an input selector. Okay, zero means just blades. One means blades and flowers. So I can just show you here what that means. So activate this. Now uh, when you so now it is just blades. Now click here. You have uh, you have this. Uh, blades and also the flower okay uh, because it is showing like um, like only this this custom mesh is uh, right now it is it is displayed as a uh, as a box so that is perfectly fine and connect this switch to the uh, output okay so now we have now we have a switch in between the uh, the the merge node and the Procedural grass. Okay. Now we are going to save this. OBJ, save it. Uh, save. Okay. Now we'll just apply and close. Now, now uh, one thing we forgot about is uh, we, we need to add the switch into uh, into the HDA. That we didn't didn't do. Okay. So again, open this properties. And under the switch, you have to drag and drop it in, into into this uh, into somewhere. Uh, it'll be easier to uh, to to switch it. So I would say um, keep it at the top uh, because that be the first first option you need to check if you need uh, just grass blades or if you need uh, a mix of both. Okay, so I'm going to select this switch and select input. Uh, I will drag and so just, so just keep it as, uh, as just just grass for now and drag and drop it here into the root and move it to the top then change the name as um, mm, mesh uh, selector okay we can range as uh, we can set the range as 0 to 1 because because we only have two options apply accept now we'll go to our HDA, uh, save the asset, then turn this, this on. Now uh, we can actually interactively decide if we need the, the flowers or not. Okay, so here's the mesh selector. So zero is like just just grass. One is like grass and on, and also flowers. Okay, so this is just grass. This is uh, uh, this flowers. So 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 we have a problem so if you look here uh, when we have just grass i still have the uh, custom flower options okay import geometry all those spawn controls which we have, which actually i don't need like when i'm uh, when i'm in zero that means uh, just the grass blades i need to uh, to turn this off this section off but show only the obj export at the at the end so how can i do that in the uh, in the HDA, uh, there, there's a way to do it. So I will open the uh, HDA right now. Uh, go into asset, edit. Uh, so in this, we need to uh, do something. Okay. So so we have a switch. So this is the switch. Okay. Uh, now now we have if you if you go into the switch here. So so we have two values: the blades and blade flower. Now I'm going to convert this into a uh, into a menu. Right now it is it is a slider because sliders sliders don't don't really work. Um, so I so, so I need to so I need a menu that that can be used as a as a as a drop down. Uh, so go into menu first, okay, and click on use menu. Now menu items. So so just you can you can you can refer this here and and create the menu, okay. So menu items. Uh, so we have like token number is like this uh, this number you see here. Like this is zero and and this is one. Okay, zero is uh, blades, or 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 you can say uh, only blades. Okay, 
and token number one is blades and flower okay so we have two one is uh, zero and 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 we have one so we have so we apply this okay now first we test how it works then we'll come and see uh, how we can do that so we're going to obj uh, save it now if you click on the uh, if you click, click on the sta now we have a match selector at the at the at the top okay we have only blades and blades and flower so this is much much easier than you know uh, doing that uh, slider so when i when i uh, when i go into uh, blades and flower i need to see both so we can see both so so when i go into only blades this flower section has to completely disappear okay so how can we do that so under so in the uh, hda parameters select this so this is the uh, going to parameter this is a name actually so copy the name and we need to do something called uh, called boolean okay um, so select this custom flower folder so this folder has has an option here like hide when so you can you can call it as an uh, as an if if statement for a boolean okay so hide when you have to uh, type exactly like this so we have to use a parenthesis okay like this uh, parenthesis apply it uh, space so control v paste so the input so the value in mean the the name for the switch okay space then just just an exclamation mark so like that says it is not equal to uh, so what is the pa so so what is the value there so zero means uh, just just uh, just blades one means flower i mean blade and flower so the value is not equal to one okay so zero and one one means flower and blades is not equal to one then hide okay so apply and accept now when you now when you go into this uh, hda you can see that when you uh, uh, when you have only only blades you don't see the flower parameters so when you have blades and flower you have everything so that is the how you, you uh, how you make use of the uh, if statement or you can call it boolean so this is a very like you know very useful uh, technique uh, for cre for creating the hda so when i use just only blades i am i'm seeing only blades and when i export this okay and in blender um uh, same thing just import bj um, using only blades okay now when i would do this nice select uh, blades and flower save to disk and, I, and i'll be seeing blades and flower there you go so you got it so now we can uh, we can adjust the num the number of flowers or whatever you want, um, and you can actually uh, adjust the spacing. You know, make it more more randomized. Make make some height variations, change the grass thickness, and um, and spawn it using uh, the PCG tool. So so yeah, uh, that is pretty much it for the uh, for for this part. Uh, for the next part. Uh, should be the final one i think uh, if i need more I, I might be adding more adding so i'm not not pretty sure like if i can if i can finish it off the ne next one so on the ne ne next one we will finish it off by uh, by adding the uh, the shade the shader tweak in unreal as i was explaining uh, the in the last uh, in the last part so in this we'll be adding a little bit of uh, you know uh, secondary motion to the grass and also the flower to give it more a natural look okay see you in the next part thanks for watching guys